Hey guys, and today I'll be showing you how I can make moving backgrounds like this that are great with text in iMovie 10.3. So basically, if you first, if you go to the backgrounds tab, you can see that there's these like abstract backgrounds, and these were added in the iMovie 10.2.4 update. Basically, if you hover over these backgrounds, you'll notice that most of these are static, but there's a trick you can use to make them have more motion. So first I'll just show you how you can make one of these gradients here move. So I'll just try this gradient gray as an example. First I want to do is flip the clip using command B. Then I want to go to this icon here and then just select a different endpoint color for color two. So let's just select something, this example. So the next I want to do is make sure that each clip here is the same length, so two seconds, and then go to transitions, and then go here and select cross dissolve, drag it in here. Then I want to double click in the space between the two clips to open up the precision editor. And then I'll drag this transition so it fills out the entire, almost the entire duration of, the, of, the, of both clips. So then I'll close the editor. There we go. You press play, there we go, it's sort of transitions from one gradient to another. Of course, this method also works with other backgrounds. So let's say I want to try it at this abstract background, so I can just do it here. And this is the same process, I'll just split the clip. Let's make sure each segment is an equal amount. Then I'll just change the attributes here so that I can just Change this to that. Say so just change the outline a little bit too. And here also in the beginning, I can also change something. And then do the same thing, go to transitions, go to cross dissolve. Then double click to open the precision editor. Expand it all the way. And there, I've made it a smooth transition. Again, you can easily just, if you don't like it, how it looks, you can also just change it as well. You can just preview it. Then if you're new animated backgrounds, what you can next do is just add a title style. Then there's your final effect. So that's basically it, how I can use the static backgrounds given and make them into moving backgrounds. And it's a quick thing to do to make a tile screen or other things a bit more exciting. Thank you for watching this iMovie tutorial. If you want to see more videos, click on the playlist above. Thanks for watching.